I take a step back and just cut that right even with that metallic frame. I'm going to use the oscillating tool to cut through the thickened resin and fairing compound. The fairing compound was pretty easy, but the thickened resin is actually kind of tough to cut through. So now I can take the top off of the box and I've also cut through the thickened resin that's holding that side wall to the back of the box so there's nothing holding the side wall on now except for the fairing compound and I'm surprised at how strong the fairing compound alone is that attachment's going to be really strong once it has glass laid over it. That's nothing but fairing compound I'm fighting against. And that's it. So now the lid and the wall are back off again. I'm just going to set the wall here temporarily. I've got work that I have to do on it. The first part that I'm going to rework is the lid, but before I do that, I'm going to measure and mark that back panel for where I want to cut it down to cut the four inches off. I make several marks and then use a straight edge to connect the dots. The best way to cut a straight line is with the circular saw. In a lot of cases you can't go to the end, but it makes the straightest line. So now I'm finishing up with the oscillating tool where the circular blade couldn't get at the end. Now that little strip is cut loose all the way along the Nidacore edge, but it's held on at the top with that thickened resin that was laid in a strip along the top. And that's it. Four inches narrower. And that was four inches off of the top of the locker. You can see the line of fairing compound on the piece I cut off. And 
I've also cut off the part. You have to close in the edge again. Right there, where I had chopped strand mat closing in the edge. So I'm going to have to redo that and lay new chopped strand on my new edge. The resin soaks right through the chopped strand. Put it on pretty thick and it'll bond that to either side of the panel, the glass on either face of the panel. So it's time to take that one side wall off the boat. I have to sand off the fairing compound on the edge of it. And yeah, I thought twice about carrying that down the ladder. So I can just handle it over the edge of the boat and it can rest in the utility trailer that's parked next to the boat. I'm not sure if the camera can pick this up. And, uh, there is... I don't know what from a circular feature there. There is... This spot where I kneeled on it. And some fuzz from my pants stuck and I couldn't really get it out of there. I think it just brushed up against something and got dirty there. There's also these little tiny pinholes everywhere. And I can maybe seal those up if I do another coat. But this was to be the final coat, so it has the wax mixed in. So it's hardened completely. It won't make a chemical bond now. So I'm going to have to rough it up with sandpaper. Which is just as well, because i got to sand out those spots anyway. So I fold the paper towel over several times and wet it with acetone and then I can wipe a little bit and flip it over and have a clean surface to wipe and then I can unfold it and I get another clean surface to wipe with and once that's got stuff on it I can unfold it once or twice more, always working with a fresh section of the paper towel. And you wipe things down many times until there's no residue left on the towel. And this is gel coat for most layers as you're making it thicker. It's just gel coat and catalyst. And the final layer has wax added to the gel coat and that will make the final layer harden. It's based on polyester re laminating resin. So this is sanding that chopped strand mat that I laid over the edge of this panel. And if you keep the sander flat, it'll sand off all of that chopped strand right up to the edge and make a perfectly straight, neat edge parallel with the front surface of the panel. I'll give you a close-up of what the chopped strand looks like now that it's finished. Putting a lot of resin into it 
soaks the resin through so it bonds to the glass on the front and back side of the panel and then sand, keeping the sander flat with the side trims it off just right in the plane of each side of the panel and makes a really nice neat looking way to close in that edge perfect Here you can see how many different paper towels I go through wiping this down. I start with it folded so I can unfold it a bit as I wipe and get clean surfaces, but you go through quite a few paper towels. I found it helps to go over the gel coat really lightly one last time and it gives it a very even texture everywhere. So now I have to sand off the fairing compound that was at the edge of this panel. And this one. This is the piece that goes on the vertical part at the, at the top where the flybridge sofa is. And once again, I'm enclosing the, the edges that will be seen with chopped strand mat. And finally, I can start reassembling the locker. And this part will go pretty much like the previous video of assembling it. It gets taped together to hold it in place and then I'll use thickened resin to glue the pieces of the panel together and I'll let that set up and then I'll do fairing compound along the inside edge where each panel joins the next panel. So that's it. They're glued together and now I wait for that to harden and then the next step is the sparing compound. As before I smooth it with the round part of the spoon to make a rounded edge on the inside and then the excess I can scrape off with the putty knife. Okay, so I'm going to do wet out the tops first and I'm just going to let that resin sit there and get tacky before I put the glass where it's going to go upside down. Once the resin is catalyzed you're on the clock. So once this resin is rolled on, I'm not going to put the glass on right away. I'm going to wait. This resin is going to be hard in a little while, whether I use it or not.
fold that in the middle after just the right amount of weight that resin will be tacky enough to hold the glass cloth in place And here's where the tackiness of the resin really helps me out. And it's only been a few minutes, but this isn't hard, but it is a lot more tacky than it was. started in the corner first and work my way out and then do the final with the roller and some fresh resin. And that's how you fiberglass upside down. Any videos of people struggling with fiberglassing upside down, they struggle until the resin gets tacky enough like this and then the glass will stick. And this is tabbing all the other corners in the box. Every place where a panel meets another panel gets fiberglass tabbing here and it's to make a wide flange area so there's a lot of square inches of glue in contact. TAB, T-A-B stands for to assure bond. You put a wide tab with a lot of glue. It is Sunday, Thursday night, and I have now completed the tabbing that I set out to do Monday morning. But the locker is four inches narrower and sort of fits its place in the boat better. In the overall scheme of things, a couple of days to cut it down, resand, refinish everything and get do the fairing in the corners and get back to where I could do the tabbing is what two, three days. It's nothing. You shouldn't be afraid to take like a couple steps back before continuing forward if you see that something isn't right. Oh yeah, we got that stuff up there to do, but you know, it'll still be there tomorrow. It's still a bit tacky. I could sand it, but it'll load up my abrasives right away. No, I'm done for today. I'm done. I'm gonna get a beer. That's just it for today.